Star Species. Any new members? Uh, Here's the game. Sure, you can hear the game as well. Maybe something like that. Maybe a little bit lower. Right. Oh. Let's see. I'm not sure. I think I want to create my own ruler today. I'm not sure how I want to play today. Right. I'm thinking maybe I should start somewhere. I'm not sure where though. But I feel like starting as the king kind of lame. So maybe I'll start. Mm 
I'm wondering if I should create my own ruler too, or if I should just go with this Chieftain Thorfinn. Maybe that's fine. He has some good, like, traits, but he doesn't have any genetic traits. I guess it's fine. You know what? I'll start as this dude. Alright. Oh, so I have a son? Let's see here. What am I good at? Stewardship? Hmm. I could go Diploma. No. I guess Stewardship. And... I guess this one seems good. Beauty focus. <laughs> Alright. Do I have. Oh, I have a spouse. Ooh. Oh, I can have. Con okay. Well, that's good because I kind of want to find someone who has heritable trait. No one? I know no one? Okay. Well... We don't have... Lord... This... I guess, actually... Wow. All skills. I guess I'll do it. Huh? Okay, there we go. And hire a court physician. I don't really know anyone that would be a good court physician, though. So. I could invite a physician. And it's free, so. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, and I need to find some champions as well. He's not very. He doesn't have very high prowess, so I feel like I shouldn't recruit him. Okay, well, at least we know kind of what we have to do for now. Kind of worse. This world is full of dangers, even to a chieftain and his court. As per my request, my servants have inquired of their recommendations. Now they have assembled a few options to choose from. Let's see here. Uh, apparently, I have some experience. Think about that. Hmm. I mean, they both don't really <laughs> impress me that much. Um, can't see them here, can I? I feel like they would bore 
both give like a poor. I don't have that kind of money. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna choose either one of them. That's kind of a shame. I guess I could just. I can't even Guy, I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not ready for war yet. Okay, so let me think. I guess I, for now, I'll just take this person. Cause why not? Doesn't hurt. She will get some training, so she will become better with time. Wonder if I could be a little bit. No chance. I. She loves her husband. Shame. <laughs> Maybe I can sway her. Hmm. I love a chance. How was his child? Damn, why does everyone... Okay, but... What if... Why do you not like me? I feel like... Um... I feel like... 50% chance that's not good, but I don't want him to not like me, because I feel like... If that's the case, he could just like... Take me over, I guess? Which is not great. Alright, well, for now, nothing's really happening, and I hope <laughs> it kind of stays that way a little bit, just so I can get a bit more accustomed to all of this. I feel like I should- like, I like that she- has like really good a good education but i also want inheritable traits so that our dynasty can become better okay voice of reason another council meeting another conflict Jarl Jorun and steward builder are arguing violently about the upcoming building projects as chief, then, I should silence them with a single word. I could silence them with a single word, but I have a better idea. My diplomatic pursuits have given me insight on how to handle situations like these to please everyone. Um... This is my wife. This is my steward. I could make it so that they both like me. Could possibly get a hook. I feel like the odds of these, are like 50%, it's like 70% chance that something good happens. Or I could guarantee that one of them like me more. I feel like... I'm gonna risk it. See what happens. Okay, good. They both like me. Good, good, good. That's great. I was a little bit scared, but it turns out it was a good option. Let me just check here. Because sometimes these things don't make sense. Like... 
Why? Is my spy master? But why? Not really good <laughs> at that. Um, I feel like I need to. Yes, he is the best steward. Yes. That's fine. Although this is much better. Like... Why? Three? That would be bad. You're not gonna like it, but uh, I'm gonna fire you. And you're not gonna like it either, but I'm gonna fire you too. It just doesn't make sense to me. Let's see here. Um... Your steward is really bad, so I guess I'm gonna keep you guys like that. I don't really have anyone else who has a higher... Actually... Yeah! <laughs> it just makes sense. Oh, he was weight! Cool, cool, cool. That's good. So now he likes me a little bit more. Yeah, we don't... Rates don't really match that well. And also, she loves her husband. Kinda sucks. How about you? Can you be swaying? No. But why? Do you love your husband? Yeah. But not that much. Oh, if I sway you a little bit, maybe I can get my bloodline in the king's bloodline. I think that would be good. You know. Uh, da, 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 da. To the loathsome chieftain Thorfinn, I have been corresponding with your counselor, East and it has been a shameful diplomatic display. You are not the man I thought you were. This has to be a terrible misunderstanding. I don't even know who you are. You're the North, I see. Well, that kind of sucks. He doesn't be forever. For <laughs> a couple of years. Well, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. At least my children love me. <laughs> Maybe I should like try to actually use my wife because I feel like we're not actually lovers. And if we're not, it's gonna take longer for us to get more children, right? A listening lucre? <laughs> My son, Jörn, Jörnur, has just finished a lesson held by Girl. <laughs> These names are really hard to pronounce. On the management of the treasury and the gold therein. Jörnur seems to have taken the lesson somewhat to heart. While he understands the role of the lower classes, he also insists that if a peasant stops paying their taxes, 
they are of no more use and should be discarded. A very callous view on human life. What does callous do? Negative diplomacy. Plus intrigue. Red tyranny. This is my oldest child. I feel like I want to be kind. Just is nice, but it's bad for intrigue. Greedy. Not good for stewardship. But get a little bit more money. Oh, I'm sorry, for diplomacy, not stewardship. Um. I feel like just would probably be the best trait. I'm a little bit unsure. It kind, of, it kind of depends on what I want his child to do. Hmm. Well... Maybe I want him to have a lot of It's kind of fun to make shims and um, like both hostile and friendly shims. So maybe I should go for the intrigue. Although it will be more difficult for people to like him. Hmm. I think just is probably for the better. Even though it gives me a little bit of stress. Probably for the better. And... Uh, sway how long? I should probably sway my wife, honestly. We'll wait until this this one is over. Maybe we can go a little bit faster because nothing seems to be happening right now. Oh, 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 way worked. I'm just gonna check if, like, oh, okay, intrigue, abandon. I tried to do. It is more like now. There's not a zero percent. Oh wait, is this really? Okay. But she's in my court. I see. Well, I think. Hmm. I guess I should probably. Still, seduce my wife first. Like, no, why? Oh, we don't like each other. Whoa, that's so interesting. Okay. Well, I guess I'll try to seduce her because. Oh man, I didn't know <laughs> it would be that bad. Huh. I'm, I'm surprised. Okay. How long would this take? About 16 months? Okay. So it's gonna take a while, but hopefully it will be worth it. New perk. 
Uh, what is that? Port subjects acquisition. Position offering different opportunities to demand extra gold from subjects. Calls. Same. That's it. Hmm? Yes. Click taxes would be good for now. Since I won't be able to try to claim the throne for a while. So why not just make more money? <laughs> A gift of labor. Everyone appreciates a gift, but perhaps I could come up with something truly unique that will make a real impression on the gift of Doran. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I would hope so, since she's my wife. Uh, commission. Poetry. Choice of life. That's good. I think appreciate the physical. Cold pleasures of life. Where is poetry? Would appreciate architecture. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm gonna. Pick the house crest. To the charming Thorfinn. Thank you so much for the crested embroidery you gave me. I can scarce remember the last time I received such a wonderful gift. Anything for you, Jordan. Nice, so we're gonna be more successful in trying to seduce our wife, which is good. Oh. Spouse up to the task. Some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are. I expect results, yet I am often disappointed. After a long day, I am complaining to Jorun when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. Oh, so let's see. Oh, I could just leave with her. But I also kind of want her to boost um, my chance, probably. Hmm? Uh, so I think... Ace then. Yeah. That's good. A little bit higher now, which is good. Yes, my wife is pregnant. Very good. A reading in Tingvala. The celebrations had come to an end and the evening's entertainment was over when Chief Desiree suggested a reading. A clerk soon arrives, wondering what the guests would like to hear, and I see my chance to impress Odin. Something feels like Sorry if I pronounce it wrong, I have no clue. <laughs> I think she wants to hear about religion, I think she wants to hear something entertaining. I think it's not like... Her Learning is pretty terrible, um, so I would guess entertaining would be the best choice. As the clerk reads for us, Joron seems completely engrossed. Her letter, he later approaches me. Good choice, Thorfinn, she says, and runs a hand through her hair. It was great, wasn't it? Hell yeah. I, that was the correct decision. Okay, Defenders of Faith. There was a commotion among the children today. 
Yalvar was attempting to preach among his fellow youngsters and became the target of a small fight. Jordan was furious that anyone could target someone attempting to speak on behalf of Sif and chased away the other children. So he could get the cellars. Right. Just. I don't really like that trait. Um. So it would probably be better. Although. There. We could get Brave. That's actually really good. Apart from the fact that he's more likely of dying in battle. But apart from that, it's very good. And it's also a good trait to have in our faith. Or he could be calm. Calm is also good. And he got just stubborn. Oh, he has a lot of traits. Rowdy. Yes. He's getting a lot of stewardship. Marshall. This is going to change depending on what here. I think I'm going to go with Brave. I feel like that's the best trait out of the the for where we are. Right? Very good, my son. I don't think I can get any concubines, no. My beloved wife, the servants have all been sent away and our bed has been decorated with roses. As Shiftes Joron enters our chamber, she smiles eagerly and joins me without any hesitation. With the help of hands, mouths, and limbs, we reaffirm the devotion we swore before Odin, perhaps in a more carnal fashion than intended. As we were united in marriage, we are now united in our hearts. And she becomes our lover. I think that's good. Uh, we want our wife to be our lover. By the time my spy master Vemunder comes to me with his plan, he seems to have already made up his mind. Serving with the Varangians in Mik <laughs> Miklagard will bring both wealth and glory. Wealth and glory. I cannot deny that part, but I could deny his request. On the other hand, would it be right to stop someone in their pursuit of glory? He is a really good spy master, but... <laughs> would... I don't want him to not like me, so I feel like he should just go. Oh, I got a daughter! Uh, should we name her something special? I don't know. What shall I call you? I guess it is okay. It's not too difficult to pronounce, so I think I will go with that. New claimant. Of all the buffoonery I have ever seen, in Isin's inane efforts to improve my relations with my neighbors, my good-for-nothing chancellor, chancellor has officially acknowledged Chieftain Oh, go Gondsmander? Uh, claim to the Chieftain of Vermaland. No, you're supposed to make me friends, not enemies. Ah. Well, that kind of sucks. And I have an empty ca- oh my god. Um, I guess... I have any good... Oh, no. I don't really have any good... Oh. 
Um. Uh, do I have any guests? This guy, he could be my new spy master. Sure. He's wheezing, but that doesn't matter. Sure, I'll recruit you. And you're going to be my new spy master. Welcome, Gunnar. Oh shit, I'm not doing any themes. That's bad. <laughs> I thought I was. Okay, I'm still gonna try to seduce this gal. Maybe not seduce. Let's sway her a little bit first. And then seduce. I want to lay with her, so maybe she'll have my child. Although it might be a bastard, but it could be good for us. Maybe. Hell yeah, our wife is pregnant again. That's good. Well, even though our traits are really bad for each other, we're getting along very well. Good. And hopefully our children will be well educated. I'm probably not going to be streaming for a very long time because I have to go to sleep um quite soon because i'm going up early tomorrow <gasps> another child or a mare how about just oh like oh mare instead that's easier oh yaran you have been so brave so strong words can't describe my love for you and now we have a perfect little son who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? Olmir. Yeah, that's cute. May you go strong and wise. And who's gonna end? Yes, our court physician. He's smart. Oh, hello, I was swayed. That's good. So, let's check. How much does she like us? Not too much. I guess we'll sway her one more time. Oh my lord, my sh my 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 wife. She is becoming pregnant so fast. That's actually very good. This early on. I'm gonna get that. Oh! Jörundur comes of age. With his coming of age, my tuition of Jörundur is at an end. With sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards warfare, such as Jörundur, can come to truly understand it. He has shown great aptitude both in battle tactics and the management of armies. He will make a fine commander one day, I'm sure. Skill tactician and logician. Very good. They grow up fast. And I guess I should try to find a spouse for you. And I want you to find someone who has good trait. Let's see here. This trait is really good. But you're 29. You won't be able to have kids for my kid for that long but i guess better than nothing robust is really good 
or Amazonian. Wait, because this is you know, what's the second one? Is that this or is this I feel like you... No, you're chef. Maybe... Or she. I don't know how <laughs> to pronounce it. Um, so I feel like you are probably better. Medium chance. I feel like that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Nice. Summon air. Nice. Good, good, good. And you're getting have a guardian or under my wardmanship. Alright. Well, things are going according to our plans so far. That doesn't mean that it will continue to do so forever. But for now it's looking quite good. How love was weighed. How about if I I'm just gonna have a check. 35% chance is still not a lot. But it is better than zero. Is it because you like your even more now? No. You just not want to dishonor by coming. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes, in the I have frowned upon that. A lot of criminal stuff here. Hmm. Oh, one eye is good. Oh, I guess that's because of Odin. Huh. Oh. It bastard. I mean, I could try. It doesn't hurt, right? She just might not like me as much, you know? And my wife might be angry at me, but you know, that's part of the gamble. I can't pronounce this, so I'm going to change your name. Wait, maybe... Oh, Grima, that's fun. Uh, oh... Another child? So, I mean... Oh, you're spindly? Look at that. How did you get that? Hmm. Oh. Weird. Can you get that even though, like, not nor, nor me or my wife has that? That's interesting. 
I can still declare wars. I feel like I don't really want to though. I don't really like <laughs> um, wars in this game. Like, it's nothing wrong with them. It's just that I'm bad at war. <laughs> I already have five children. Could have more if I get concubines, but I don't know anyone. <laughs> I have a guest. He has good stewardship. A gift of labor. Everyone appreciates a gift, but perhaps I could come up with something truly unique that will make a real impression on Allah. Um. You might actually enjoy poetry. <laughs> oh, I think I'll get her poetry. The charming chieftain. Thorfinn of Vermaland, thank you so much for the poem on the joys of life you gave me. I can scarce remember the last time I received such a wonderful gift. Anything for you? That's good. Now we have more success chance. That's good, that's good. So now we have 50% chance. That's good. All according to plan. Oh, I thought it was a marking for some, uh, but it was not. Uh, what is this? Another child. My daughter-in-law. Oh, she got a heel. Well, that's better than nothing. I was hoping for Amazonian, but hopefully they're like, if they get a son, they will get the Amazonian trait. Um, why are the Ulvhildes fine? Going to become loosed, I hope. <laughs> Where are you? Here? Huh? I don't get it. Are you in the court here somewhere? This is another home. A gift of generosity. My son Helmer has been impressed with one of the household champions for a very long time. After finally meeting in person, he has saying the warrior's words to himself. Give others their due. But on in turn. Generous. He will not like me as much. And how diligent is it? I think patient is also very good. I don't think I want him to have... I mean, generous is not bad. Let me see. Your sibling is pure and partial. I feel like you should like compliment that. Vegan there. Maybe diplomat. Good one. Mm. I 
I am gonna give him the diligence. Just because it seems so good. Starting to become a little bit stressed. So maybe I should like host a feast. Or call for a hunt. First of all, celebrations have come to an end and the evening's entertainment seems to be over when Hala suggests a feast. The clerk soon arrives, wondering what the guests would like to hear, and I see my chance to impress Halla. Religion, entertaining, informative. I feel like she would like informative. Because she has high learning. Apparently for us, Hala seems completely engrossed. Yes! We did the right choice. I'm gonna sound the horn and we're going for a hunt. Hunt the fox. My courtier Ardor. I don't know if that's a E sound or what kind of sound that is, but she's the first to see it. The sly fox is hard to distinguish from its surroundings. But it is observing us through the undergrowth. I lock eyes with the animal and it is almost as if I can sense... As if it can sense my intention. For it suddenly takes off. You have lover's pox. Okay. We ride. I'm gonna again, we ride. My world narrows. Hmm? Oh, you want me to say? Uh, two seconds. Do -do. All right. Just a second.
All right, there we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. My world narrows to the nature surrounding us as we follow the fox on its escape through the, a ravine. Riding side by side with this gal, I can hear the thunder of hooves, dogs barking, men shouting. Excitement flows through me as we slowly gain on our quarry. We press on. I know that it is a killing shot before the arrow even finds its target. As the fox stumbles and falls, we drown out its wails with shouts of victory. A good kill! Turning from the wild. The hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses to leave the taiga behind as the servants prepare the fox and other game for the journey back. Sounds like these are pure joy. I cannot wait for next year. We return home, reinvigorated. Nice. Seems to go well. That's good. How long do we have on our seduce sheen? Two months? Okay. And our wife is not pregnant. Pregnant. No. Oh well. Soon enough. I don't remember. I think they stopped being fertile. Around, around 40 something. The women at least. I think the men are fertile for longer. You're a serene man, Thorfinn, but I do not like you that way, says Halla, and looks uncertain. Only Odo knows what the future might hold for us. Oh yes, of course. Oh, That's so sad. Oh well, it makes sense. It's a shame though. I wanna check if... Are you interested? Oh? Oh? Maybe? But you can't have more children. I see. <laughs> then it's probably not worth it. Let's see here. Your heir. I can't like make him have a. I'm so close. Can't seduce her for a while. What should I do instead? Maybe try to get on. But he could give me one, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Although I already have a bunch of children, I'm not really scared of. Oh, until 45? Cool. Well, I already have. I guess I'll just continue. I feel like I should start a gym though, like something. But I don't really know what my goal is. To the Mr. <laughs> no! This guy has gotten me in so much trouble. This is the second time this has happened. <sighs> I can't believe you. Again? Oh. <laughs> Maybe I should try to sway this guy instead, because I don't want him to not like me. And this guy already doesn't- okay, actually, it's not that bad any longer, but this is the guy that used to not like me that much. <laughs> hmm. Oh man, my people don't like me. 
Why do you not like me? Because we're at peace? Isn't that good? I guess we are in the Nordic countries, they probably want war. Yeah, I've played it before, um, but I... It was a long time ago, <laughs> and I'm not very good at it. Uh, and I noticed that it had an update quite recently, so I was like, oh, well, I guess I could get back into it. I mean, this is my liege, so I feel like I should like... Or is it not? I thought so. Are we like not? Oh! Okay, well that changes things. <laughs> I thought this guy was like the king of all of us. Guess he isn't yet, but maybe with time. Hmm. Well, they are having a bunch of wars. I guess maybe I should try... But I feel like it would be easier if I had like some sort of claim. I don't really have any claims. Hmm. Where are you? Huh? Mm -hmm. This guy really doesn't like me, so I guess it would be good to kind of get rid of him. <laughs> and your heir. And he doesn't like me, but if he finds out, he won't like me very much. <laughs> but I am curious. I can't? Oh. oh, okay. Well... Okay. So... This, this way worked. It doesn't hate me as much. But I'm wondering... How long would it take? Let's just... Play with the idea. <laughs> How long would it be? Five years? And it's not very likely to succeed. I guess it would be easier to just declare war, but now he's stronger than me. Although I have more money, so I could probably hire mercenaries although the sheep is once already hired that's too bad company of the dog <laughs> who are you hmm. I feel like I should try to like get to know more people somehow like spread my children <laughs> around <laughs> So I get more contacts, but they're all still young, so I guess I have to wait for a little bit longer. Although I could, like... Oh, he won a war! It, it didn't used to look like this. Oh man. Okay. He probably- yeah, he wants to shift on Venom alone. Yeah. Claims... Okay, well this dude could be a problem for us later, so I feel like maybe that he won't get more children, right? He's 53, yeah, so she can have more children. He's all house spouse. Uh, He's probably quite powerful, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to 
marry my children off sooner or later. One of my children already has a wife, but we only have one child so far. I would hope that they could get more. <laughs> we'll see. Soon. Soon, maybe. Notable guest. That's a good Marshall. High prowess. Didn't I... I think I used to have a shortage of champions, and I feel like you are not very good. So maybe I should recruit him just because he's very powerful. Yeah, that seems like a good plan. And maybe because you're not very good at your job, maybe I should swap you out. I could. I mean, I'm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Um, let's see here. He's not gonna like me for it, but I don't care. <laughs> it's better to have a good court, right? A better council. Yeah. The right choice. And we continue. I don't even know. Maybe I want to try to conquer, like... Sweden to begin with, or maybe or we might be either. Um, that's good if I want to start wars. Let's see, there are other options. What's this? Stewardship? Level title? I don't really have... Mm -mm. I feel like this would be good for now, if I want to kinda start some drama. <laughs> Does this guy at war? Yeah, that's probably why, because my troops are not very strong, so I feel like I shouldn't be able to like beat anyone. <laughs> yeah. A harsh judgment. Do some tutoring. Following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my son, Halmar, what he thought. He responded that the sentence was far too harsh for such a small crime. Justice good, but I don't know if I want, I mean stewardship is good I guess, but I don't know if I want minus three in intrigue, what else can you get? Nicole could be good. Temperate. Temperate is quite good. I think I want to go with the plus intrigue though. And some learning. Get more good rounded character maybe. Not Time to show him how little Odin cares. Plund. I want to like... Hmm. Goodbye. He is not attracted to men. <laughs> All right, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> okay, the voice of reason. Another council meeting. 
another conflict. Idja Hafridir? <laughs> I'm not sure how to say that. And uh, Spymaster Gunnar are having are arguing violently about the upcoming building projects. As chieftain, I could silence them with a single word. A better idea. My diplomatic pursuits have given me insight on how to handle Please, everyone. I mean, I feel like these usually succeed, but he already likes me a bunch, so I feel like it would be more beneficial to just have her get some a better opinion of me. I think that's enough. A faction was created against me? Why? Wants lower county control? Oh, I guess I do have a, quite a lot of control. Yeah. But I guess if I were to go to war, <laughs> the control would lower, right? Maybe I should... I can't do this. I can't do this. Let's see. If I conquer... Could... Oh, I could just do this. Hmm. Or I could make him my vassal. I subjugate. Read for captive. Special type of war. Started by a ruler whose faith prices human sacrifice. Capture prisoners for sacrifice. Huh. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Okay, so I can <laughs> just capture a bunch of people and sacrifice them to the gods that's i mean i kind of want to try it now why not <laughs> sure let's uh raid for some captives why not <laughs> and i think can i yeah, I can only rally them. Raise all. And then we have our army. And let's just walk in here, I guess. <laughs> if we can get some sacrifices. I mean, I don't know where his army is. Is this his army? No, that's a neutral army. <laughs> I guess I'll just stay here for eight months <laughs> unless his army comes. Actually, whilst this is happening... you. I'm gonna try to sway you again. Oh, actually, no. <laughs> that succession is very bad. Can I sway a child? No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I just want him to be my friend. Uh, hmm.
the Charl. Maybe I'll just not worry about that for now. <laughs> and just continue my siege here. Almost done. Oh. It's done! A valuable host is captured. Oh! <gasps> I captured the Jarl? Oh, that's good, right? <laughs> Characters and counting. Advised by you! <laughs> oh my god, I gained a bunch of piety. Wow! May your years be short and miserable. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this budget, I will comply with your demands. <laughs> So be it. And I'm gonna try to stop these raiders if I can, but we'll see. Go, go, go! Faster! <laughs> I can ransom my prisoners or I could sacrifice them to the gods. They would probably hate me for it, but uh, I already have them. A bit of money. Oh, here we go. Bye bye, raiders. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Well, now. Or what? Wait, wait. Yeah, they lost, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was confused for a moment there. Can I... How do I unraise? Here? Or... I... Can't just find what enemy or hostile armors are around. Okay, so I have to wait for a little bit, I guess. How about now? No? Still not? No armies can be disbanded. Why not? N now. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That was weird. What is this? The sensible chieftain. I shift this. 50? Who do I have? As prisoner, hmm. I mean, sure, fifty that's quite a lot. This is their child, right? I don't really care that much about your child. I mean, I guess he does since he wants to pay 25 gold, but. <laughs> I ha do have two other prisoners that I can't ransom, so I feel like... Oh, I had- Oh, I had to spend? Oh... I didn't realize that. Oh. Oh well. This girl is smart. A genius, even. But she doesn't like men, so I guess I kind of sucks. How does it work? They're just really smart. Not that smart. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I would probably. Oh, yeah. Oh no, that sucks. Oh. Oh well. I guess. 
<laughs> I didn't realize the sacri- Ransoming them would spend so much pity. Oh well. That's fine. I'm stressed, so I think I'm gonna host a feast. I don't know if anyone's gonna come. Like, do I have any friends? I guess I do. <laughs> the guests are gathered in the hall great hall. Lords and ladies from the near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright. The spirits are high as the feast begins. Welcome, friends. Eating was well underway, and drinking a little too far along when Chiefess Jorun decided it was time for some horse riding. My stables were locked up tight, but Jorun somehow managed to get a group of eager riders inside. With absolutely no control over my animals, there was swearing laughter and broken bones as men and women fell from horses ambling around the castle, the hall. Oh man. Lively feast, <laughs> but I spent some prestige. That's fine. Feast. The feast ends. My guests are going home, all in good moods. This feast has brought us closer, and we will be able to look back and chuckle at the escapades of Jorun and her drunken band of merrymakers for years to come. Keep me in your heart, Vassal. Nice. <laughs> My poor wife is wounded. <laughs> well, <laughs> she did decide to ride on horses drunk, so... My acquaintance died. Oh. I don't know who you were, but... Bad. <laughs> oh, I lost some stress because I'm greedy. Nice. As if we had no stress to begin with, almost. It's so stressful having children, children in this game. <laughs> as soon as you have pick a trait and you're like, oh no, stress is going up. So, wait, I need to check. I have my prisoners here. What? Did one of them die? What happened? <laughs> Was that the acquaintance that died, maybe? What can I do with you? Ransom, negotiate, release, torture, move to house arrest, execute? I get, I mean, he is my, s <laughs> he is my uh, sacrifice, the y'all would not like me, but I get some, some of the PT back, <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't care if he hates me. <laughs> he might be more likely to try and kill me, but it's fine. Let's see. What is this called? Can't even like try to Oh, that's because we already went to war, so you can't really declare war on me anymore. For a couple of years, right? This guy. Hmm. Also. Ooh, the mud. This place? Well, he can't have it. It's fine. That's a claim. This here? That doesn't belong to me. That doesn't bother me. 
Man, I don't have any claims. <laughs> How old are you? Did I try to find him a spouse? Maybe? Maybe I shouldn't be so picky. Oh! Where are you? Where are you from? Here? Hmm. Maybe I'll wait until he becomes an adult. Because I'm not really in a rush to do anything. Oh, it became Sweden. It was just Uppland before. Oh, he likes me now. He doesn't want... Oh, he's back! I barely recognize my courtier Vimund as he enters my great hall. I am home host, Vimund fellows. There have been many a time I thought I would never see yours again, but I am finally back. As, as, as strange as, as it is to see my courtier after all these years, I cannot deny that I am impressed with his Greek dress, foreign jewelry, and the heavy coffers he has brought with him. Welcome! Wow! When did you leave? Like, it's been some time and you became a lunatic. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, that happens. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I have a new spy master now, but I mean, you are still good. Mm. And I could switch you out. You won't hate me too much. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, he just came back. I need to give him a job again. And really there in wars. I'm not very strong. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hide and peek. What in the world has my son Hjalmar? What's my son Hjalmar doing in the <laughs> that wardrobe in the servants' quarters? Playing hide and seek, he claims. He looks like a fool, smiling, flustered cheeks, drooling, barely hearing what I'm saying. Oh no, I know what happened. He must have seen two of the chandeliers <laughs> plucking a goose together. <laughs> no, sh did I say chandeliers? <laughs> oh, sorry, I can't read. <laughs> That is undoubtedly lost in Elmer's eyes. Lustful? I mean... Lustful is better. Like, I don't want you to not be fertile. Yeah, you ran a little bugger. Save it from when you're grown up. I know I was talking about marrying you off, but just keep it in your pants for a little bit longer. Let's see, are there any, like, people here that I could maybe, I don't know, conquer? Just because, why not? An unexpected visit. With my mindset on relaxing evening, I am headed for my son, Jordan Schaber. Some spiced wine and a deck of cards without knocking, door open. Jordan Dur is seated by his desk, writing furiously. As I clear my throat, he jumps out of his skin. He quickly stuffs a roll of parchment in his pocket and turns towards me an uneasy look upon his face. What are you hiding? Show me at once. Your latent to respect his privacy. I mean, this guy really likes me. This is my son. Like, I don't think. He's doing anything 
sad. Though, I feel like... I mean, I could find out what he's hiding, or I could just respect his privacy. I don't feel like I do much, but maybe I can do it in secret. Yeah. I'm gonna try. Return later and search his chambers. Unexpected visit. I rummage through his thing. Jörundur sleeps like a babe. The sedate I put in his wine sure did the trick. <laughs> Oh no, I drugged my son. <laughs> Within minutes, I have found the piece of parchment he hid from me. It is a letter. There is something about a monetary transaction and the specification for a custom made ruby ring with the best. Seems like Jordan is planning to surprise me with a gift. Aww. That's nice, and not what I expected. I knew he wasn't up to anything bad. <laughs> no, my... My wife died? My dear Yoru, I must not have loved you. I feel you're passing more acute. I hope you find the peace. And I need to find a new wife. Oh my lord. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, in this that case, I want someone with good traits. Maybe. Hmm. Beautiful, maybe. Amazonian is quite good. I mean, Amazonian is probably better, but this girl is younger. So she will be able to give me children for longer. That could be good. I could get a ally here, but she... The trade is not as good. I feel like beautiful might be the way to go this time. Sure. Let's see if she accepts. A gesture of appreciation. A mischievous smile is playing on Yorun's lips. I know I have acted strangely as of late. And for that I apologize, but I had good reason. Yorunder hands me a neatly wrapped gift, decorated with colorful ribbons. I want to surprise you, I had it custom made, there's only one like it, go ahead, open it. Oh, thank you! I got 50 coins from my son. To the sensible Thorfinn, I, if Dokia, gladly accept your hand in marriage. May we find strength and support in our union, my sensible husband. Nice! We got a new wife. And I feel like... Actually, I want to, to become part of the asset pool. And then... Let's... Romance... Or seduce. Deuces at the same time, yeah, then romance, because it's 100% and I can just go with my gut. <laughs> um, I recruit one of my most senior soldiers and practice with him for the for three days straight. Once, he's, once he deems me ready, we head together to the main court. As we begin to spar, a crowd gathers and their shears soon draw none other than my wife. <laughs> uh, the soldier fights valiantly, but I disarm him with a final flawless thrust. I kneel before Yudokia and declare my noble intentions. I dedicate this victory to you, Chiefess Yudokia. 
Bringing your honor my, is my only desire. My dearest is speechless, but clearly flattered. Why else would she be smiling thusly? She won't resist my charms for long. <laughs> All right. I think once I'm done making my wife my lover, I'm probably gonna uh, end the stream for today because it's getting quite late and I have to go up early tomorrow. But we still have a little bit left before that. And I don't think I'm gonna be going to be able to do any more war <laughs> for today. But I think next time I want to try and get a stronger army. Maybe conquer some of these people and get a stronger army that way. Maybe we'll also... Oh, here we go. Romance. Poetic license. There is no woman lovelier than Shiftes Eudokia. In her presence, my words often fail me. None of my compliments ever do her justice. Perhaps a carefully crafted poem would better capture her virtues. I will write about her. What does this do? If I do this, she becomes charmed, but we already have 100% success rate, so I feel like I shouldn't take the risk. <laughs> I'll just leave that for now. How old are you? 13? You'll be a man soon. Mm. So this is where crowns stuff. Cool. Fortunately, I don't have any artifacts. <laughs> you can unlock a new perk. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, how old am I? Thirty-eight. I will probably live for a while longer. Maybe I should try to use. I don't have a lead. Let's take cutting stones and maybe I'll build something like a marketplace. Yeah. Oh, all cold. I guess. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I was just saying, I don't think there's gonna be more reward. Although, to the blathering sheep, and Thorfinn, may your humors rot in your living body. I have long coveted your lands, only to be denied possession of them. No more. The time has come for me to finally get what I deserve. My whole... No. Okay, yes, this part of my kingdom, but no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, kind of similar strain, but I know. <laughs> okay, well... I feel like I should maybe hire a mercenaries. Maybe- oh, that's really expensive. I feel like this would be better for now. It should give us the edge. Or... I'm gonna- can I link these? Merch, there we go. Uh, and <laughs> I guess we're going straight for them. Maybe. 
I will probably win, so why not? See, I can <laughs> get to them. Oh, well, they're too fast. Oh, well. wait. Oh! Everything is happening at once. Okay. I have seduced, secured an invitation to a feast in Tingvala and a seat close to Yevdokia. Despite my determined attempts, I am failing to strike up a conversation. She is probably rendered speechless <laughs> uh, by the intensity of my affections. Suddenly, the loudest fart I have ever heard erupts from our table. A few of the guests are looking at me. Yeah, I must, <laughs> I must save her. <laughs> um, I think I'm just gonna be quiet. Honestly, <laughs> I'm just gonna be quiet. Okay, wait. So. I think I'm gonna split. No, I'm not gonna. Oh no! 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 I need to think. I kind of want just go for them, but maybe I should go here. This um, tricky, tricky. I feel like this is the right choice, though. And now. How many? Not enough. I need more men. <laughs> if I were... I could go here though. For some option. Oh, this is an enemy army? <laughs> I... See here. I need to stop them though. I think that's more important. So hmm. I feel like I should probably go oh Romance, a lady's honor. By Odin, chieftains Eudokia is an unsufferable bore. <laughs> Have you seen how she shakes her head? Ridiculous. My champion, Aesid, I don't like him. You did- you- you wronged me. You, like, <laughs> made two people, like, the, the chieftain to the north and the south of us start to dislike us because of you. Anyway, uh, he throws his head back with a wicked laugh. Yudokia is still conversing with her friends, but I can tell she heard him. I hate to see her hurt. Mm. I'm not gonna fight him. I'm just gonna make her gain some opinion. Of Or actually, I'm gonna try to challenge him. You should apologize to the lady. And it worked! Great! And you look here instead. Alright. Let's see if this works. I don't think they will make it in time so that's good and now they are trying to leave can i make it in time a word of advice i saunter between the markets of tingvalla a heavy pouch tugging at my belt how do i make 
going to work for me. As I admired the wares of a local stonemason, a uh, perfect geometry, a sound investment, my son and heir, uh, Jorunder, suddenly appears at my side. A word of advice, father. Have a look at the jewelry stall over there. Their wares, their wares might be simple, but their potential is great. What is this? Building construction time. Hold. Fish holding taxes. Hmm. I I mean it's nice my son is my friend, but I think it's fine. I think it's better to get the minus construction time. Okay. We're battling and it's going well. Very good. I think I'm gonna try to merge my army again. And I think we're going to go back towards their capital. Romance, the wild hunt. When Chief Test Eudokia suggested a hunt, I did not hesitate to organize one. I would do anything for a mere glimpse of my morsel. I am stalking through the underbush, underbrush, my uh, page at my heel, and my hound just ahead. It seems as if uh, it was found, has found a trail. Then suddenly, my concentration is shattered by a woman's scream. I am coming for you, my love. Wild hunt. Within what must have been a minute, but felt like an hour, I reach a clearing. Eudokia is on the ground before me, disheveled and weaponless. Opposite her, and just about to strike, stands a huge wolf. My arrow strikes true, and the beast falls to the ground. For a moment, all Eudokia can do is stare. But then she stumbles towards me and throws herself into my arms. I need you, my love, right here and now. Is what we're going to do. He becomes my soulmate. And that's fine with me. Alright. Well, the seduction or romance was successful. And the war is actually going in our favor. So I think I'm gonna end it here. It's getting quite late, but I had a bunch of fun. So I'll end here and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.